Kelsey from hipburn.com and welcome to our video today. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about carb cycling and carb cycling is the nutrition approach that we choose to follow here at Hipburn and it's something that we really recommend for a lot of people and the way that we teach it is very flexible so you can maintain it as a lifestyle but you can also really get the results that you're after whether you're trying to gain muscle or lose weight or just tone up a little bit there's different types of cycles that you can implement that can help you reach your goals and so that's why we like it because it's really simple and it's really personalizable it's pers you can personalize it <laughs> you can personalize it to basically whatever your goal is so carb cycling what is it so our approach to carb cycling is where you have certain days of eating lower amounts of carbs and certain days where you're eating higher amounts of carbs and so depending on what your goal is, you kind of alternate between the lower carb days and the higher carb days that will help you burn fat and gain muscle simultaneously. So it's a really easy and flexible way to get fast results. In our approach to carb cycling, we are very flexible. We practice intuitive eating, which means eat when you're hungry and until you're satisfied. So we like to have a much softer approach where you don't have to count calories, you don't have to count macros, you basically just have to eat food. And so it makes it a little bit more simple in our opinion because all you have to do is know whether today is a lower carb day or a higher carb day and then you just eat accordingly. Okay, so what is a lower carb day? So like I mentioned, we don't recommend that you need to count anything. We, we actually recommend that you don't count because it just can be really time consuming and also kind of stressful because a lot of people then are worrying about everything that they put in their bodies. So we really want you to focus on types of food and the types of food that you're eating rather than worrying about uh, the exact grams of whatever you're putting in your body. So if you're focused on eating higher quality foods, you're going to get faster results. So for lower carb days, we recommend sticking to protein, veggies, and healthy fats. And on lower carb day, you're gonna be getting your energy from the healthy fats because your carbs are gonna be lower. So either your body likes to burn carbs as energy or it likes to burn fats as energy. So on lower carb days, it's gonna be burning fats as energy. So the healthy fats that we typically recommend sticking to are mostly one ingredient foods. So things like nuts, nut butter, avocado, olive oil, things like that that are gonna give you some good healthy fats, but you know exactly what you're putting in your body. So on lower carb day, you want to make sure that you're eating lots of protein. Try to get in some sort of protein source at every single meal. And in your first meal, make sure that you're starting off with a good amount of protein. It's gonna help, help keep you full for longer, and it's just gonna help you feel good all day. And higher carb day, everyone loves carbs. And so what we generally recommend is not that you cut carbs at all. We think carbs are incredibly necessary and important and your body needs them, but we recommend sticking to certain types of carbs for your fastest results. So for example, one ingredient carbs such as sweet potatoes, potatoes, rice, beans, quinoa, things like that are really going to help you uh, get the fastest results. Also things like fruit. Fruit is a great carb source and we really recommend uh, eating things like that on high carb day. So on high carb day, you're going to be getting your energy from the carbs. So you don't want to be restricting carbs or trying to keep carbs low even on high carb day. You want to make sure that you're eating a good amount of carbs. So remember, stick with protein, stick with veggies, and then one ingredient carbs on your higher carb day. Okay. And the thing that we really want to get across is flexibility. So even though I've outlined certain types of foods to eat on lower carb day and certain types of foods to stick to on, higher, on lower carb day and higher carb day, what I really want to recommend is that you just keep it flexible. So it takes some time to really understand what your body needs, but after a while, after you get into the cycle and get into some good workout routines, you're going to understand okay, my energy is a little bit lower. What does that mean? Does that mean that I am just hungry in general and I need more food? Does it mean that I need some more fats if it's a lower carb day to get some energy or maybe some more carbs on a higher carb day? Or even if it's a lower carb day and you know that you're gonna have a super tough workout, it's important to understand, okay, I know my body's gonna need some extra carb, carbs for some extra energy, so I'm gonna have a piece of fruit or I'm gonna have a sweet potato with one of my meals. It's really important to understand that there's not harsh lines for what you should be eating you need to understand what your body needs so overall the most important things to focus on are just eating high quality foods if you're focused on eating what we call whole foods as in one ingredient foods things that 
literally have one ingredient, not processed foods that have all these extra additives and preservatives and things that you can't pronounce. These types of things, you have no idea what they really are doing to your body. They may not have, they may not have carbs or sugar or calories necessarily, but the, these types of chemicals, you don't really know how your body processes them. So you don't know how they really affect your overall health and well-being. So if you stick to these one ingredient foods, you know exactly what you're putting in your body, which will really help you maintain a healthy lifestyle long-term. And overall with nutrition, what we just want to communicate is find what works for you. There's not one holy grail nutrition strategy. This is what we like to do, what we personally have seen great results with, what thousands of our clients have seen great results with. However, everybody is different. Everyone has different goals, everyone has different preferences, and everyone has different needs. So figure out what is sustainable for you, what helps you feel healthy and happy and is just maintainable as a lifestyle. We want you, we, if you don't like running, don't run. If you, you know, don't like certain things, you don't have to do them. But we want to just communicate that figuring out what is a flexible lifestyle for you and helps you get the results that you're after, that's what you should be focusing on. Also, everybody is different so whether you are a working mom or a parenting mom or an athlete or an office worker or a student no matter what you're doing as far as activity levels and lifestyle everyone has different needs we come in all shapes and sizes and we all have slightly different needs as far as what works for us for workouts and also what works for us for nutrition so that being said, understand that there's not one cookie cutter approach. So with carb cycling, we find it very flexible and easy to be able to tailor it to individual people because you can switch up the actual cycle that you're on and that will really help you get the results that you're after based on whatever lifestyle you have. In fact, we have a carb cycling quiz that has actually been really, really helpful for people because it teaches you exactly the carb cycle that is right for your body and for your goals. It's just a few short questions and it really helps you understand what carb cycle to start with and you can always adjust from there and make modifications based on what works for your lifestyle but the quiz is really great because it gives you a starting point and whether you are on a 3-1 cycle or a 1-1 cycle or anything in between there's lots of different approaches that can work and so that quiz kind of gives you a place to start so I'd suggest taking that quiz and we'll, we'll post the link below so that you can check that out Okay, so that is a very basic overview of carb cycling and our very flexible approach to it. So let us know, leave a comment if you have any questions, anything that we can follow up on, any ideas for future carb cycling videos that you'd be curious to know more about. This is barely scratching the surface of this topic and we have lots of different things that we can talk with you about uh, carb cycling and just our nutrition approach in general. So leave a comment and ask your questions. We'd love to create a follow-up sequence to be able to help teach you what we like to do and just help guide and make things flexible and easy for you. So just a recap of what we talked about today. The most important thing that we suggest for nutrition is just focusing on one ingredient foods, things that are not processed, things that you know exactly what you're putting into your body because they came from the earth and they just have one ingredient. And the second thing that we talked about was lower carb days and we suggest focusing on protein, veggies, and healthy fats on your lower carb days. And you're gonna be getting lots of great energy from fats on those low carb days. So don't skimp on the fat. And third, higher carb days. So we suggest on higher carb days, focusing on eating protein, veggies, and one ingredient carbs. Because on higher carb day, you're gonna be getting your energy from one ingredient carbs. All right, so we have a really yummy recipe for you guys today. So I will take you over to the kitchen and we will get to making that recipe. for joining us in this video today and if you like this video subscribe to our channel share it with your friends so they can uh, check it out too and leave a comment if you have any follow-up questions we'd be happy to get back to you so we'll see you tomorrow